what hogs do that a lot of other animals that are used for animal uh, vegetation control don't do is they eat the roots and they kill the plant. The debate continues tonight. Were a group of pigs rescued or were they stolen from an island just five miles from Stockton? The alleged owner of the hogs claims that they were there to help with vegetation control and he's now filed a report with the sheriff's office planning to pursue legal action. New tonight, CBS 13's Carlos Correa talked with a man who says he owns the pigs. Roger Stevenson says he's angry over the removal of his six pigs from Walters Island and is looking to get them back. I feel like my uh, personal property has been uh, stolen from me. Three and a half years ago, Stevenson partnered with the owner of Walters Island to bring a group of pigs onto the property and help vegetate the land. The island was quickly named Pig Island by many locals. And what hogs do that a lot of other animals that are used for animal uh, vegetation control don't do is they eat the roots and they kill the plant. The director of the nonprofit animal rights group Farm Sanctuary says she received a tip the pigs were in trouble, abandoned, and starving. She told CBS 13 all the group was trying to do is get them to a safe place. But now many Delta residents say they weren't rescued at all. Instead, they were stolen. The debate here, though, is whether it's humane to let hogs live free range on an island and uh, live off of vegetation. We spoke with Sherry Johns, an ag instructor who has raised pigs and hogs for more than 30 years. She says using pigs for vegetation is not inhumane, but it can ruin your land. They're not very good for a vegetative use because they tend to tear up the land. John says anyone using pigs for vegetation has to be careful not to overpopulate an area, which can be done very easily. If that happens, it could result in not having enough vegetative growth or source of nutrition. But a farmer or a hog producer would already know that. If an animal's not eating or something, they're going to know it with regards to that respect. But they're not going to know it with the respect of by this is that pig's name and this is they're not going to know that. Now Roger Stevenson says that he's gone to the island and has spent more than a thousand hours feeding and caring for those pigs. All six pigs remain at veterinary clinic in or at UC Davis, I should say. There's no word yet from the owners of the Walters Island. All we're trying to do is just get them to a safe place. And through all the legal channels, we got permission to get them and we we took them in. Now, yesterday we spoke with the nonprofit animal rights group in the middle of this fight. Sanctuary Farms Director Susie Costin says they received a tip that the pigs were in trouble, abandoned, and starving. Costin says the island owner signed papers allowing her to remove them. To hear our whole interview with the nonprofit Sanctuary Farms, you can go to our website, CBS13.com.